morning YouTube. So it is day 11 in Athens, Tennessee, rescuing this 1973 Crown Supercoach. So yesterday I got some bad news. The clutch is beyond adjustment and it needs to be replaced. So I'm working with J-Pro, which is a local heavy truck uh, and auto repair c company here in Athens. And they're gonna do the work today. They'll be showing up here in a little bit. We're gonna do it on site because this is a good location to do it and it avoids a tow. In the meanwhile, I've got some other projects going on. Um, I'm gonna see if I can fix the issue that cropped up after the starter where I can't start it from the dash. And uh, I'm gonna continue the renovation of the interior, getting it ready to become a motorhome. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, check out the playlist for the rest of the videos that are related to this. And thanks for watching. I'm down here with the starter and first things first, I've got an extra wire left over. And I'm down here with the starter because quite frankly, this is the best place to, to look because this worked prior to the uh, starter being changed. So first thing I'm gonna do is find me a nice ground and then I'm gonna verify positive. Yeah, that's not a nice ground. Come on, why is this so difficult? All right. I got my little test light here and this just shouldn't be a big pain in the ass, but it is being a big pain in the ass. All right, that I know is a good one. So let's find out which one of these fuckers are positive. This wire is a ground and it belongs over there. So I'm gonna get a wrench and fix it. I've got that wire strap back down and uh, I don't see any other loose wires. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure there aren't any hiding anywhere on me. The next place that makes sense to look is to take the schematic and to look at this. In particular, we've got an ignition solenoid. So I want to see what's going on when I turn the key. And the first thing I want to do is establish that I've got power. So it's telling me that that should be ground. And over here should be power. So let's verify that's power. Yep, that's power. And then we're gonna clip to this. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got hot coming in on that side and I've got nothing there. That should be from the ignition switch. And then I've got a solar so let me reposition the camera. That's weird. Oh uh, yeah, maybe not. So when the ignition's on, And now we've got an air pressure buzzer that's going off. And what I need to do next is see what, I, I gotta chase the, the circuit. I'm gonna test the ignition switch and that's really very difficult to do. Um, so I'm just gonna stop the camera. You aren't gonna be able to watch me do anything meaningful there. Cause I've gotta be a contour. So I put, I set my um, clamp on the ignition wire and then I turn the key and I'm not getting any power through there. So what I'm gonna do now is jump around the ignition switch and see if it pops the engine. And if it does, then that tells me the problem is the ignition switch that I just replaced. Great. So I wanna check behind this panel because I, I suspect some of these switches are misbehaving. And to do that, I have to take the water filter off because there's a stupid gull light screw hiding behind it. There's no rest for the wicked today.
See the sideways motor in? Drive this thing to Texas tonight, Anthony. If you want me to do anything, holler, otherwise I'm going to stay out of your way.
Um, it seems like it's wiggling. I could put this screwdriver on the large side if you want to wiggle it from the other side. I don't know, this is not my area of expertise. Pretty even right there. side. Alright. I can't get in on the uh, driver's side. There we go. Yeah, there's a little lip or something there. you do on the on the passenger side. shaft or something.
What's that? See the rust coming out of it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna switch and put a foot in these two. There we Woo! Now for the moment of truth. What the fuck's going on in here? <laughs> That flywheel's back up in there. Right, just, I don't want to get Angela yelling at me. I'm gonna get help push on it, let me know. Yeah, I might need to. Alright. <clears throat> what are we caught on? Oh, we're rubbing on the exhaust. <clears throat> God damn, how much does this thing weigh? Oh, the strap is catching on the exhaust. That's part of what's going on. It looks like it's it's hung up on this bracket. Oh. Let's see if I can edge it sideways. <clears throat> there. Now it's loose a little bit. All right, I bet it won't weigh so much now that we're not trying to move the exhaust. Yeah. Is that where you want it? Is that uh, input shaft salvageable? Yeah, 
How's the seal look? That's all that matters. Well, what's that part? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, good. We're on the right track. We're doing what we need to be doing to get it back in service and make it reliable. At some point, I'm going to have to put a new input shaft in, but hopefully that's not a today project. We found that the uh, throwout bearing is thrown out, or needs to be thrown out. And uh, that's one of the problems. And we've got a little bit of drama going on with the input shaft. There's some deformation on the splines, but it's still serviceable. The mechanic has the uh, old clutch out and he's going to pop that flywheel off there so it can be resurfaced. That's part of the replacement process. Pilot bearing's good, but the throwout bearing's shot. Let me show you that clutch. Here's the old clutch pack that came out. And intermediate plate. <laughs> Decent amount of material left on both. Nothing real magical going on there. No obvious, no obvious cause of failure other than this throughout bearing munched. Yeah, so. New one is a little bit different style. It's got dampening springs on the on the clutch plates. I'm not going to take it all apart, um, but uh, this will be a nice nice improvement. Flywheel's out. We're going to send it to the machine shop for resurfacing. And the main seal looks good on the back of the engine, so that's a good sign. Nothing to do there. We've got the flywheel out, and uh, overall looks good, but still needs to be machined before the clutch can go back in.